Are you ready for the biggest Dogman haul ever? I mean, pinch me because I think I'm dreaming because I have like so many ducks to show you today and I have never ever spend like a thousand dollars all in one go in my life and this is the craziest moment ever. So let's show you what docs I bought. Pals, we've been dock shopping. Hey, I'm Jen and if you're new here, you'll quickly learn that I'm addicted to Doc Martens and if you are not new here, then Thanks for watching yet another Doc Martin video. It seems like you guys like these and this is the most exciting one I've ever done because I have literally never spent this much money on docs before and technically they were free. This is like basically a part two of a video that I just posted recently about winning this awesome Doc Martens competition where I won an $1,000 voucher and some customized docs, which is like, I just like feel like I'm dreaming. I can't believe that I actually won and I wasn't even associated with like this YouTube channel at all. Like they didn't even know that I was a Doc Martin addict. I just put my general email into like the sweepstakes competition and I won. I still can't believe it. Now usually I wouldn't actually spend like all that money at once. I'd wait for cool styles because I think the voucher lasts like three years. But, um, little side note, I'm leaving New Zealand soon and the voucher is only to be used in New Zealand at the New Zealand stores and yeah, I don't know when I'm coming back so I don't want to like lose my voucher altogether so I thought, why don't we do a massive haul, you guys will enjoy it and yeah, we can see what I got. Obviously, the New Zealand store just doesn't actually have that many styles compared to the other stores. I'm not complaining, but just so you know, um, I didn't get any Sinclairs. I generally only get secondhand Doc Martens. So yeah, this is a new experience for me and I think I'm in a false sense of security because all the secondhand ones were easy to break in. So I'll need to break these in at some point and probably get mega blisters. So let me know in the comments if you want me to do a video on like how to break in Doc Martens because it's probably gonna have to happen pretty soon. So yeah, I'm probably like all over the place and rambling, but it's just such an exciting video. So the first pair I have is these ones, which you would have seen in my last video, but I thought if you hadn't seen it, I'll just quickly show you these. Now these were the customized pair. Because I won the 1461 competition, they actually customized these. And they are the coolest Doc Martens I've ever seen. Now I haven't really worn them that much at all because I am so scared to crease them. And you're probably thinking, Jen, you can't travel with those because they'll just get so creased. So what I'm actually gonna end up doing is leaving a bunch of Doc Martens here at my Nana's house. And then eventually when the bubble opens, cause currently Australia and New Zealand, you can't travel between, but eventually I'll get my mom to come pick up all my docs or get them shipped over to Australia to go in storage until I can be returned. So they're my first pair and they are just so, so cool. We also got three other pairs and I actually have never bought any Doc Martens from the Doc Martin store ever in my life. Like, are you kidding me? The Doc Martin queen, never been to the Doc Martin store. So let's take you back to the store cause I actually filmed me going there if the footage is even good. I'm pretty awkward in person, so we'll see how that turns out. They're not really my style, but well, I like, they have white ones of these online. Yeah, $600. These are on sale. You get like one of each. I was like thinking of these, but I think no. Socks? You can get a thousand dollars of socks. I'm telling you, I like the Revive Georges myself. I like that one. I don't like that one. What about these? Those look really normal. Yeah, I like, don't know if I like these eyelet like things. So you like these? I do. Okay. They're cool. So I get the white Jadens as well. You got like a, a few places you know you want to live in. I don't know, I don't leave the house much to be honest. Yeah. Alright, wasn't that fun? I got this pair first. 
Um, as you can see, I tried on the Dokmon X Girls and I actually wasn't even too sure about them to begin with. Like, I was like, oh, they're pretty, but like, I don't know if I want the Max Soul. Like, maybe it's too big for me. I'm only just a little delicate being, but then I tried them on and I love them so much. Like, they fix all the problems that I have with the other Jaden Maxes, which is I don't like the eyelets being so big and heavy. Whereas these ones, which you'll see in a minute, are kind of more understated and oh, they're so cool. So we have the Dogman X Girl box, which has this cool pattern on the side. And I got them in a UK six. Here is the bad boys. Now I have actually worn these one time just to see if like it was possible to just wear them in straight away because canvas, I actually wore them for a good amount of time and didn't have any issues until like five minutes before I had to take them off and like my, I just randomly ended up with this massive blister. So now they have this cool little tag on the side that says Dogman's X girl. And on the back we have a little label that says Dogman's X girl, which I think is so cute. And then as you can see, we got the eyelets that are smaller, which I love and the bad boy mega soul on the bottom. Now, let's just ignore the fact that I have my orthotics in here that is so gross, but that's the cool thing about them. They're kind of a bit bigger, so I could fit my orthotics in, which means I'll be able to wear these all the time. And on the inside, they have that same pattern on the inside. I was like a little iffy at the start on these because I thought, canvas, how does canvas hold up? Like. Are these gonna be wrecked in like a year's time? But they're actually such a good quality canvas. Like they're not what you get with Converse or whatever. It is like a very thick canvas, so. Anyway, that is the shoes. I should move on because we have so many things to talk about. And we also have these white laces that go with it. Don't come at me with your lace code, people. Like I'm probably gonna put these in here and it's gonna look cool, so. Wear what you want. The next shoes, which you would have seen me get and try on, is the Doc One Jadens in white. Now, <laughs> I was so indecisive with these because I realized after I bought them that they were $400. That's like most of my voucher. And I'm pretty sure they're not $400 everywhere else. So I was like, maybe I can get these eventually secondhand for a better price but they are so pretty, so I had to get them again. Like I ended up actually returning them and then rebuying them. Oh, it's a big story. I'll have a whole like vlog at the end of the week where I was indecisive and have a life update, but to spare you those details, we have these bad boys. My main thing with these is I really want to draw on them. So that's gonna happen eventually. But for a little while, while I wear them in and everything, I am going to just wear them as white and style them for you guys. They're probably blowing out on camera because they're so bright. But we got the zip. That is the one floor I think with these is that the zipper is black and I think it should be white. And we got the black laces, which are the waxy kind. And also, you know, the standard stuff for Jaden's. We got the back that does this like little Ooh, thing on the side. These are probably gonna be such a bitch to wear in, but like, you look like a badass. You look like a rock star in these. So I ended up getting these even though they were like even more expensive than these ones. I think these ones were 360 and these are, you know, $400. But they could look really cool with these X-Girl laces. I don't know why I'm gonna paint on $400 Doc Martens, but we're going to. So that's that one. And that, yeah, took me a little while to decide, but it's crunch time because I had to change my flight to America to sooner. So I had to make a decision. So I got those as well as, drum roll please, my third pair, which as you can see is a smaller box, which means smaller shoes. And we have a UK six in, we got the Mary Janes. Now, to be honest, I did go to the Doc Martens store a couple of times. I didn't even bother to try these on 
So I was like, Jen, you already got the Polly's and you already got Bethan's. You don't need these ones. Yeah, I tried them on just for fun because I'd been in so many times. I'm like, oh, I got to try all, all the shoes on. I kind of wish I tried the loafers, but they didn't have them. So it was going to be loafers or these. Tried them on, fell in love. So now we have these and I know what you're thinking. Like, yeah, you already have Bethan's. The sad thing that's gonna have to happen when I go to America is I need to downsize a little bit. I'm gonna be traveling. It's gonna be too hard to take so many platforms. So I'm not gonna take my Bethans, I don't think. And I'm also not gonna take a pair of my 1461s. And this is gonna be like my replacement everyday shoe that I can wear literally with everything. So, ah, oh, sad times, but happy times because these are so adorable and they're so in right now. I see a lot of people wearing them, just like the 1461s and the 1460s. The Mary Janes are one of the like classic types of dog buns that you can get. So we got those and I just love how they fit. They fit like a glove in my foot. My foot's like quite a skinny, narrow foot and it feels so fitted. But if these are too fitted for you guys, I'm pretty sure I can take out the inner sole of these. Like it's not stuck down, so yeah, you'd just take that out. That's so cute. I ended up also getting, thanks to my Nana, these Doc Martin double socks because literally every time I went in, into the store, they were like, hey, do you have the double socks? I know that upselling life girls, but I thought I should get them so I can review them for you and see if they actually work. So. When I do my breaking in, I will try out these socks and see if they work. So that is uh, all my Doc Martens. I love them so much. I'm pretty happy with my decision. No regrets. Um, obviously, I'm going to be sad in the future when they bring out something cool and I'm like, oh, I could have used my voucher on that, but I wouldn't have been able to get it anyway because I could use the Doc Martin New Zealand store online, but then they don't ship anywhere else so yeah these are wait let's see if I can pick them all up my new Doc Martens and I know it's sad that not all of them will be coming with me like the ones on the end aren't coming with me but for now we can just admire them and I hope you enjoyed the video that has been my haul I feel so, so lucky that I was able to get all these docs. Like I would never have gotten these at all if I hadn't have got the voucher. And to be honest, I have been trying to get in contact with Doc Martens for so long to work with them eventually. And I just don't hear from them at all. So this is the closest thing I have to getting a Doc Martin sponsorship. Actually, probably even better because I ended up with so many pairs of docs. So yeah. Um, let me know in the comments the dog mans that you would have got if you had a thousand dollar voucher. Anyways, I have been Jen, your YouTube dog man addicts, and if you haven't already, please subscribe. My Instagram's at in the wonder years. And until next time, keep wandering.